Get ready for the summer sizzle with our special guest lineup, the Reverend Danielle Brown, Elder Larry McCullum, the Reverend Dr. Joanne Noel, the Reverend Kevin Smallwood, the Reverend Denise Reed. It's the summer sizzle designed for you. So let's have church. The Summer Sizzle 2012. This month of August, I have designated it as Summer Sizzle. And every Sunday, every Wednesday, there is a special speaker, a special word from the Lord, prayer for the infirmed and the physically challenged and the unemployed in every service. And we want you to know that God will keep the fire burning, even in strange times. You still have work to do. Take this next chance. And you may be sitting here today and you're saying, but Pastor Danielle, uh, th it isn't that easy. This one, this one failure has caused a ripple effect in my life. And because of this one failure, it wasn't really isolated. But this one failure has caused the storms in my life to rage. And I feel like I'm out here all alone. Well, I brought another witness just in case you, Lolo, and Peter weren't enough. And his name is Apostle Paul. I found him over in Acts 27 chapter, and I just wanted to invite him to cathedral this morning just to tell you about how he was taken prisoner. And he was on a ship with 275 other people, and they were headed over toward Italy. But the ship encountered some stormy weather and threw them way off track and and the text says that the winds and the waves were relentless and Paul and everyone else on the boat thought that they would certainly die in the storm but the angel of the Lord appeared to Paul and said hey tell them don't give up tell them don't lose heart because the ship is going to wreck the ship is going to wreck, but guess what? There'll be none lost among you. And I know that today it may be storming in your life. Maybe your marriage is in trouble. Your finances may be shaky. Life in general is bending you out of shape. And you're wondering if this Christian walk is even worth it. You're now questioning the seasons of God's choosing and, and the ways of God's timing. But come back, Apostle Paul, and tell them how the story of the ship in the middle of the storm ends. The ship gets all busted up in the midst of the storm. We suffered some losses along the way. They had to even throw some things overboard. But I believe that God was going to do exactly what he said he would do. And some came on boards. Others came on broken pieces. But it came to pass that everyone made it out safe. And I said all that to say that we serve a God who can calm the raging seas. And even if he does not calm the raging seas, he's a God who does not need much to make sure that you survive. It can be a board. It can be a broken piece. But he's God. And your survival, your next chance, is not contingent upon what you are holding on to. But instead, it's contingent upon who is holding on to you. And whether or not you're living through the aftermath of failure or in the midst of a raging sea, I came this morning just to encourage you. Fear not, because he's with you. Even to the end of the age, the psalm writer said, I he seen the lightning flashing. I heard the thunder roll. I felt sin's breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But then I heard the voice of Jesus telling me, fight on. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. They go on in the next verse to say the world's fierce winds are blowing, temptation sharp and keen. But I feel a peace in knowing my Savior stands between. He stands to shield me from danger when earthly friends are gone. 
grace that raised me. It's grace that kept me. It's grace that's gonna keep me keeping on. It's grace this morning, Cathedral, that no matter where you've been, no matter what suffering has come your way, no matter what mistakes, no matter what failure you've seen in your life, it's grace that will raise you, grace that will keep you keeping on. And it's grace that looks beyond all your failures, grace that looks beyond every one of your faults, grace that looks beyond every one of your fears, grace that looks beyond what your haters said about you, grace that looks beyond every lie, grace that 